if you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Hello and welcome to Spirit Guides Thursday Thoughts. This is the place where you will get to hear snippets of conversations I've had with people over the years and get a variety of thoughts for you to consider for today. Enjoy! And today we're going to talk about adoration. And when I talk about adoration, what I want to say is that adoration is the act of adoring, right? It's the act of adoring someone, uh, adoring something, right? And what I want to say is that there are many, many paths to doing this work. And it is a path that can take you down some very interesting roads. So I want to first, before I go into what adoration is, I want to talk about what it isn't. Because adoration isn't attachment. Okay. We can adore something. We can just really open our hearts to it and and be fully present with it and just absolutely adore it without becoming attached to it staying as it is where it is or within our purview right when we adore something we are being present with it in the current moment that does not mean that we expect it to be there the next moment Okay, that's attachment. Attachment says, I adore you and you must be mine forever. And when we get attached to things, it's a very different issue. That's, that's about feeling like we don't have enough, like we need something to compensate for us and things like that. Okay, so when I say adoration, I want to be clear that that is not attachment. Okay, now that we understand that. What I want you to do, here's your assignment for today. Should you, should you choose to engage it? And this is your invitation. I want you to spend some time adoring an object. Could be a plant. I love, I love adoring plants. Could be a thing, you know, whatever. And so an object, a person, and yourself. Those three things. Okay, so you're going to adore an object. So what that means is you're going to sit with the object and you're going to be present with it and you're going to open your heart to it and look at it and appreciate all the ways in which it is beautiful to you, all the ways in which it is lovely to you, all the ways in which it improves your life and and what you appreciate about it. You're going to love it. You're going to love it extremely. Okay, and I want you to do this for two to five minutes. Okay, it's going to be, it's going to feel like a really long time. Okay, so, so if all you can manage is two minutes, that's great. Two minutes is a very long time for an object. Okay. And then I want you to do it with a person. So it could be your significant other, could be someone in media that you appreciate, that you uh, idolize, or, you know, could be a friend, you know, whatever. And so you're going to do that with this person. Now, Ideally, if it's a person in your life, you would do it with them, okay? And so the way that this looks like is that you would have a conversation with them. It doesn't have to be in person, okay? So if, you're, if you can only Zoom with them then or FaceTime or whatever, do that. But you're going to be in person with them and you're going to say, this is what I love and appreciate about you, okay? And this is not a trade. This is not you saying, oh, I want mine back. I want, I want, you know, I'll give you this. You give me that. No, no, no. This is a gift from you to them where you are adoring them. Now they may find that uncomfortable, okay? Especially if they're like you and they're not so good at taking compliments, right? But, and, and you know, if you guys want to each do this practice together, you can, but the idea of adoration is that it is not an exchange, It is, I am adoring you for the sake of adoring you, okay? So you're going to do this practice with a person and their only response to everything you say is thank you, okay? That's the rules. They can only say thank you, all right? Now, the third part of the exercise is to do this for yourself, okay? Now, this is going to be the hardest one. There's a reason I give you the first two first, okay? 
And that's because doing it for yourself can be a little, little overwhelming because you're looking in a mirror and you're doing it and you feel ridiculous and that's okay. Be ridiculous. Okay. Ideally, and I'm going to make this even harder. Okay. But you know, you're a sovereign being choose as you will. Ideally you will strip naked in front of a full length mirror and you will do this with yourself naked in front of a full length mirror. If you do not feel comfortable with that, start in your bathroom mirror, just staring at yourself in the mirror and, you know, fully clothed and whatever. But I would encourage you to do this process enough that you can get to the point where you can do it naked in front of a full length mirror. Okay. Because especially for women, we have body issues and we can hate on our bodies and being able to love on our bodies is a lovely thing to do. And it's a healing practice. Okay. So those are your invitations for this video, for this time together. And I will look forward to talking to you next time. And that's it for this week's Thursday Thoughts. Join us tomorrow for the Ascend Day on the Spirit Guides podcast. So that's it for today's episode of Spirit Guides Podcast. Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. Every week, one lucky listener who subscribes and posts a review on iTunes will be entered into a drawing for a $10,000 value grand prize and a private reading with Kelly Sparta herself. Be sure to head on over to spiritguidespodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Kelly's gift and join us on the next episode. Oh, 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 o